since we're done discussing with part 1 and part 2, now let's go with part 3. Part 3 is all about Clairaut equation. So we're asked to solve number 27 of page 38, where we will find a general and singular solution to the equation y equals to xy prime plus 1 over 4y prime. So just like the two topics that we have discussed, we need also steps to solve this one. So for step 1, let y prime be equal to t, where y prime is equal also to dy dx. So by substitution, our equation here is substituted by the value of t which will result to y equals to x t plus 1 over 4 t and by deriving this both sides we have dy over dx equals to t plus x dt over dx plus df over dt and dt over dx since dy dx is equals t then these two just cancel out leaving the other side zero and by factorizing this part we have dt over dx times the quantity of x plus df over dx and for step 2 we will solve these two parts here in different parts so the integral of dt over dx and then equals to the integral of 0 will result to t cos m since we assume that the integral of 0 is equal to any constant m so therefore since t is equal to m then m is equal to y prime by substituting this value of m to y prime we have our general solution which is y equals to xm plus 1 over 4m now let's go with step 3 for us to find a singular solution so in step 3 we need to solve for x just by solving the other part the factored equation a while ago so in this part we have x plus df over dt is equals to 0 so x is equals to negative df over dt where our df over dt is equivalent to the negative of 1 over 4t squared which is times to the negative of df dt which results to the positive 1 over 4t raised to 2 so in here we need to express it in terms of t so that we will only left with x and y terms for us to solve the particular solution so in step 4 we need to look for the singular solution through substituting the value of t to the general solution and we come up with this answer so our singular solution is equals to y squared equals to x so this is how to get the answer in claret equation easy isn't it okay now let's go to part 4 which is the miscellaneous equations 